Hey guys, what's going on? This is Ryan Fenners. Welcome back to the Fentertainment channel. On today's episode, I'm going to show you guys how I built my own multi-cup rotisserie cup turner. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so I started off by buying a piece of 1 by 12 by 8 foot long board and I went ahead and got all of my parts from my previous rotisserie and I went ahead and unbolted the rotisserie mount from the old base. So in the previous video I cut this main rod down and only used part of it. In this video I wanted to use the entire length of the remaining rod. So I measured out the rod on the 1 by 12 and I took the uh, skill saw and just cut it off from the length of the rod. So I took the board here and measured the width of it and took that same measurement and marked it on the length so I could cut a piece to hold the cups. It wasn't exactly 12 inches wide so I went ahead and made the same cut lengthwise as it was widthwise. If that makes sense, went ahead and took the circular saw and cut it. Next I'm just measuring the center points from both the right and left and up and down and I marked a couple of corners and uh, went ahead and cut those off as well just to give it a appropriate look especially when it's turning it won't hit the bottom of the board and there it goes next I took the mount to the rotisserie and measured it it's about three inches so I took the tape measure and laid it out across the board and measured every three inches took the angle and squared it up and cut it off with the skill saw once I had all of my pieces cut, I went ahead and took the rotisserie mount with the rotisserie in it and stacked them up and uh, just gave it a good test fit. After that, I went ahead and smoothed all the edges down on the boards. Okay, next I took two of the boards that I cut out of the four, stacked them up, C-clamped them to the main board, pre-drilled them in the center and ran two drywall screws through those. Next, after this, I went ahead and stacked two more boards on top of those previous two here, pre-drilled and screwed them onto the outside boards. And I'm just using regular drywall screws that I had from a leftover from another project. Once I had the elevation for the mount made, I went ahead and centered the rotisserie base and drilled it down to the mount. So just like we did previously, except this time I marked my lengths one and a half inches apart. Went in, took the square and squared them up and went in, took the skill saw and cut them off the board. Once I had these cut off from the board, I uh, made sure to sand down all the rough burrs on the edges and the corners. Made just smooth to work with in case one of the kids decides to touch it or whatever, it won't cut them. Once I had this right here done, I went ahead and marked these pieces and cut them off in the center because I need to stack them a little bit higher this time. So I went ahead and started stacking this in, pre-drilling, driving the drywall screws into it. I think I stacked a total of five pre-drilled and stacked the drywalls into it. Here I'm actually pre-drilling an end of one. I have a 3 8 inch eye bolt here that I'm going to use for the other half of the rotisserie mount for the rod to actually slide into. I went ahead and just screwed it into the piece of this block here that I've already sanded. Once I had the outlet bolt mounted on the block, I mounted the block vertically between both blocks on both sides. There's a little piece of wood there that I actually sat it up on to give it a proper height. And then you can also twist the eyelet bolt in or out to adjust the height in very small increments. Once I marked the center of the board, I went and took a 5 16th inch drill bit, took the old spindle rod from the old rotisserie, hammered it into place. Since the drill bit was a little bit too small, this would give me the perfect square hole that I needed. Here I took a 40 ounce tumbler, set it upside down, and drew it out on the top of it in all four squares. I did this so it could give me a rough idea. Once I had these circles centered, I took some PVC fittings that I had left over here at the house, and I went ahead and drilled the centers of the circles here. I mounted the caps. The caps are a threaded cap of the PVC. It's three quarter inch, and I went ahead and mounted them with 3 8 bolts to the wood and put a nut behind it. 
Okay, in order to make the mounts, we have some PVC cutters. We have some male three quarter threaded pipe adapters. This is your primer. This is your cement. This is three quarter inch PVC pipe. And this here is a foam noodle from Dollar General. So I'm using PVC because I can make different length rods for different size cups. Here I'm making a 40 ounce cut. I'm cutting the foam, very simple. I'm applying primer and glue to both the fitting and the PVC pipe and just adjoining them together like you would do in normal situation. This is probably overkill, but I had this laying around so I might as well use it, right? So I figured I would. Next I slid the pool noodle over and I was done with the 40 ounce mount. Go ahead and add the cup mount and screw it into the female threaded portion of the cup turner. We did this because we can make some short cup mounts, we can make some longer cup mounts, we can make some bottle mounts, and we can remove them and put them on as we go instead of having one mount to try to make it fit all because if you notice, the koozies do not have the same opening, the water bottles as well. So now we can interchange the different mounts for the different cups. Guys, there is no right or wrong way of doing this kind of stuff. This is a DIY. I just hope I inspire at least a couple of people to get out and make your own. Yeah, and I'm Ryan Finners, and you've been watching the Finnertainment channel. If you haven't, please subscribe and check out these other great videos. Thanks, and we'll see y'all later.